So the reason why I'm bringing I'm bringing this up, of course, of how characters look like, is because um this is this is pretty damn damning evidence. Now, so this is uh not so this person says perma bands right over here says uh I'm not giving Sweet Baby Ink a benefit of the doubt. So basically, we got over here, all of these characters look great. The male characters look like look really good. Like oh my god, the the Cameron Monaghan one, that one looks fantastic. Holy crap, looks really good. The female, on the other hand, not so great. I would say the best one here is probably Aloy, maybe yeah. Star Wars Outlaw. But that, where did that chin come from? Where, where did that that strong chin, strong jawline come from? Look, look how thin and and sleek her um, Aloy's jaw is compared to her in-game model. But the thing is, it's getting worse. It's getting yeah. absolutely worse. Now, yeah. uh, Gray, do you know who Dell Walker is? No. Okay. So if you guys don't know who Dell Walker is, Dell Walker is this guy right over here. Dell Walker is a principal game artist uh, previously at Naughty Dog, Rocksteady Games, and Respawn. And he's been uh, he's he's a well-known guy. He he's been in the well, in, in industry for quite some time. So uh most recently, uh this is what he says on uh on X. No, it says there's him, been okay. a yeah, there's been a, a handful of times I've pitched black woman characters that look like this. Then after 10 iterations, the concept or model comes back without a speck of the original beauty I pitched in. And here's the thing. I've worked in the, I, I've been in the game industry for a long time to know that this is 100% true. The concepts rarely look like the model. Uh, sometimes it looks better. Sometimes it looks worse. But the thing is that there's a lot of iteration. There's a lot of feedback. There's a, a studio management. And, and there's a lot of like, it's a lot of cooks in the kitchen, basically. And this is the model that this guy pitched. Right? And right over here. Next one. I'm not take I'm not taking uh about my I'm not talking, I'm talking I'm assuming talking. I'm not talking about mild changes. I'm talking about pose, aura, style, softness, age, flair. I hate giving gamergate men feel, which is us. He's talking about us. Uh, but it's very difficult to pitch beautiful or vain women. Uh, sorry, vain black women in games without them coming back like grocery store aunties. <laughs> There's room for both. Damn, this is a downgrade. Holy crap. You got this hot black girl right over here. Holy shit, she's smoking. And what is this yeah. on the right? Oh my God. Yeah. Wait, is, but is Dell Walker an advocate though for like the modern audience designs? As Wasn't an artist, like, at, no, we're usually not. Okay, we want our okay. it's like, hey, we we want this girl. It's like we think this person will be a really, really good fit. So usually as an artist, we want our girls to look hot. Yeah. But there's a lot of um upper management, middle management to upper management mingling, not mingling, uh noodling and uh caressing of uh, of art, and they change a lot of stuff. And man, this is not even close. Like the lips, the nose, like what happened, yeah. dude? The nose yeah. is so different too. That she's yeah she's 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 a very hot black girl. But yeah, yeah, man. So the thing is, unfortunately, knowing that he works in the industry, his um as you can tell, this um it, it got a good amount of traction. Three hundred and eighty uh yeah, uh, sixty-eight thousand. Yeah. And uh, this one has uh, 656,000. That's a lot of traction. Mm -hmm. And of course, after some private DMs today with other Black developers, I will no longer be publicly discussing Black representation in games for the foreseeable, uh, uh, I'm assuming, future. No more panels, articles, podcasts, nothing. This is not up for discussion, nor it's an invitation and try to change my mind. Cheers. He, and of course, he locked the replies. Is because he knows that uh, the actual devs came out to him and said, dude, what the fuck are you saying? Why are you saying this? Right? Like, don't do that. And the thing is, the reason why I want to talk about it is because of what we got out of Insomniac Games. Couple, uh, about a month ago, uh, I made a, um, uh, what's it called again? I made a, a video and I talked about I talked about uh, what's it called again? The Jean Grey. 
there was a there was leaked gameplay footage of Jean Grey and Wolverine, and she was extremely ugly, extremely horrifying ugly, worse than Mary Jane in Spider Man Two. I got a copyright strike on it, and they removed it. Yep, they Wait, don't are... want you seeing this. They removed it, right? Like you yeah, didn't even I, get a chance to refute it. You can't, you can't even watch it. It's you gone. Couldn't even, you couldn't even download it. Nope. From your end. Nope. Completely yeah, gone. It, it's still in Rumble, I hope. Uh, unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, no. I can upload it to Rumble, but the thing is that no, it's not. So the reason why I'm talking about that is because this is from Grums. And he says, something big happened yesterday and most people missed it. Every theory we had about the uglification of women in AAA games turned out to be true. Looking at what happened to Jean Grey from Insomniac Games, Marvel's Wolverine from the le uh, these leaked early screenshots of the first beautiful model to masculine uh, wary version we have today, they are ruining it. So basically, this character looks okay, and but this Wolverine here looks sort of weird. I think this model over here for Jean uh, oh, looks okay. I didn't even realize the dude was Wolverine. It was just a random dude. Exactly. It doesn't look like Wolverine. Yeah. And yeah. yes. <laughs> until, you, until you mentioned it. Yeah, Marvel's Wolverine is a sweet baby game. We we all know that is because Insomniac uh is is in Sweet Baby's um you know their their uh the client list. We were told that the, the difficulty of scanning actors and the tricks of light and bad screen caps. We were told uh, we were incels for even questioning it. As a game dev, I knew this was BS. As gamers, you know this is BS from the comparison with Asian games. Yesterday, we found out the principal uh, artist read as the lead at major studios, including Naughty Dog, Rocksteady, Respot. We basically, that's what um, Dell was saying. Now, here's the thing. I am a part, I, I would consider myself a part of the games industry, and uh, I'm considering myself a, a developer in terms of the art side. Uh, you can make girls very hot. You can make them, ex you, you can actually make them extremely hot but people choose not to, right? And this is by choice. Um, even in my video that got banned, someone asked, this is an alpha version of the game. Jean Grey isn't gonna look like this. And I responded with, I've been in the game industry for more than 10 years. This, um, it has to go through multiple iterations before, it even get, before the character even gets an engine. You have to go through concepts, multiple concepts. You have to go through feedback from concepts and then you have to go to modeling and skinning and rigging and then animation. You have to go through multiple facets in order for you to get to in-game engine. So what we saw, I know for sure, is going to be Jean Grey. Now, that's Jean Grey. I saw that one. That one I saw. That's God. a man, baby. And the thing is that as a person who works in the games industry, the only time that we would go back and actually do stuff like in alpha or even in beta is like lighting, uh, the texturing, skinning, like texturing, I'm talking about the background, like skinning and, um, and VFX. We don't do too much to them actually anymore. So there it is. Holy crap. That's Jean Grey. That, that, look how fat she's gotten. Like, this, this Jean Grey makes, I have to say it, it makes the Mary Jane Watson look hot. Like, there it is, right here. This, this Of course, Sweet Baby Inc.'s um, Twitter account is, is, is now protected, or privated. So excited and grateful to say that we are a part of the team's bringing Spider-Man 2 and Wolverine to life with the amazing folks at Insomnia Games. It's been truly a marvelous experience. Yeah, it's going to be ass for sure. Big ass. Now, if you don't know, uh, this is a girl named Mary Kenny. You're like, who is that? Who is Mary Kenny? Right over here, Mary Kenny, game writer, best-selling author, associate, uh, associative um, narrative director on Wolverine wrote Gamer Girl, Spider Man, Miles Morales, and then a bunch of other stuff with uh, the Pride flag. And she wrote right over here Some of you don't seem to understand how narrative consulting on games work, but I do. 
I don't worry. I do. This is a uh, yes. This is about Sweet Baby because I've worked with that team and they're one of the finest in the biz. And this is one to twelve. I'm not gonna bore you with that, but she basically goes on and say how much um you know they they do a lot of consulting and they do uh, a bunch of other stuff, dev teams and stuff like that. But it's it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff that we all know is bullshit. Narrative consultants do that, get to say in the final say. But they do, here's the thing: final say is they, they get initial say. That's what's important. Final say is how the product looks like at the end. Initial say is in the inception of the art. Hey, hey, sweet baby, this is this is what our first look at Jean Grey looks like. What do you think? Not ugly enough, uglier. That's not final say. Marvel has final say for sure, right? They go through all of this consulting first and then they show it to Marvel. And then Marvel gets the ultimate say, the final say. And this is me working from in the games industry. I know, I also work on a Marvel product. I know my shit. So this is insane. Right, it doesn't get to the game if we don't approve it. Yeah, the thing is that they have a lot to say though. But if you if you actually go, if you actually actually legit go to Mary Kenny's profile on X, what's missing, Gray? What's missing in the bio? A lot of stuff. Yep, I don't see Wolverine. I don't see Miles Morales anymore. Yeah, yeah, even the pronoun. pronoun and the pride flag is gone. Yeah. But the thing is that you can't hide your traces because if you scroll down over here, what did she repost? This is from this person. I spoke to the folks at Sweet Baby about current harassment campaigns against them. You can uh, you can't convince the conspiracy theorists. This is the article that they talked about how Gamergate 2.0 is back. So yeah, uh, this is insane. We all know that um, Mary Jane was originally sort of pretty, right? And then she got hit by a fucking freight train. And she also found a fork. It's, um, it's sad, man, because you know how hot Jean Grey is? Yep. Like, like the, the, the thing is that like, of course, this is drawn by uh, J. Scott Campbell. But like, when we think Jean Grey, we think this. Yep. Right? When we think Jean Grey, we think of that. We don't, we're not thinking about this dumpster fire right here. Okay, L like I said, this is not going to change. The only way that it, this will change, if it gets the Sonic the Hedgehog treatment. Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah, it's it sucks, overhaul. Man. Yeah, yep. It, this is what we're, this is what we're gonna get moving forward. But Gray, are you looking forward to playing Wolverine? Probably not. It's like <laughs> I, I I find Sony games a bit too expensive, and they go down in price really fast anyway. So it's I know I say that I play some some uh woke games at launch, but it's usually not the Sony ones. It's usually not the Sony games. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.